Hi everyone. Today let's talk about 5.1c factor polynomials by GCF. What is GCF? GCF stands for greatest common factor. So you're going to factor polynomials by using the greatest common factor. All right, before we do the lesson, can you start your do now? Okay, there is an expression x to the first power plus x squared minus 20. Oh, you have a hint, a is x squared, but you should know how to do it without hint, right? Okay, can you do it? Okay, let's go over together. So if, if the highest degree is the twice of the degree of a middle term, we are using the substitution method, right? So a is x squared, then x to the first power is a squared. You get it, right? So a squared plus a minus 20. And then you can use any method you like. This is a quadratic equation, it's easy to factor. So if you know, so you know the two numbers, five and negative four will be, when you add, it becomes one, when you multiply negative 20. But if you use the Kim's method, it will be opposite sign, right? So instead of five, you will see the negative five and positive four. When you write down the answer, when you write down the factors, a plus five, a minus four. Make sure, be careful with the signs, all right? Two numbers you add, you positive one, multiply negative 20. So in the Kim's method is opposite sign, negative five, positive four was in the table for a zero value, right? Y equal to zero, X was ne negative five and positive four like that. But now what do you do? You replace A by X squared, X squared plus five, X squared minus four. Are we done? No, X squared plus five. Obviously you cannot factor anymore for this one X, because X squared cannot become negative five, right? X, any number square cannot be negative. To make a zero, you sh it should become negative five, but you cannot make it. But X squared can be positive four. Four minus four becomes zero. So X squared equal to four. So which X make a X, um, which x make x squared become four? You have two of them, right? Plus or minus two of them. So x, anyway, that way, or you know the x squared minus four is a two square. So a minus b, a plus b forms. x minus two, x plus two, you can write that. All right. <clears throat> so let's move on to the today's lesson by GCF. So you see, if you look at this expression, right, what do you notice? Do you notice that all the variable has X? And then numbers also has common, three, every number has a three as a common, right? Good, so we are going to factor this, okay? So let's do it together, step by step. So when you look at this, when both numbers and variable has commons, so we should take that out as a factor. We call it greatest common factor. So you separate into two parts, number part and variable part and put them together. That's what we are going to do, okay? Number and variable. So the number six, nine, six, right? So what is the common? Six, nine, six has three as a common. But if you see the negative for the LC leading coefficient, the highest degree of the variable highest degree, the co coefficient of the highest degree, we call it leading coefficient. If this is a negative, you should also take out the negative as a factor together, all right? So negative and number part is three, right? Three is a comma. How about the variable? X, X, X. Everything has X. 
then we choose the lowest degree of x as a common. x to the fifth power has x to the third power as a common, right? Don't choose highest one because x cube doesn't have x to the fifth power in it, right? So x cube has x cube, x fourth power also has x third cube in it, right? As a factor. So choose the lowest one for the variable. So x cube is a, for the variable part. So now, so number is a negative three, variable is x cube. Everybody get it? So you put, combine this, negative three x cube will be the greatest common factor. So you are going to factor it out like this. And then in the parentheses, you get this, how negative three x cube. So you think about this, when you dist distribute, right? You should have the original equation. So negative three x cubed times what is negative six x to the fifth power. So think about number first, negative three times two is negative six, right? How about the variable x cubed times what is x to the fifth power? When you multiply the variables, you add the powers, right? You add the power three plus what is five? Oh, it's a two, right? Three plus two. When you multiply the variables, you add the powers, okay? So x cubed times x squared is x to the fifth power, okay? Then how about the second one? Negative three times negative three is a positive nine, right? How about the variable? x cubed times what is x to the four? So when you multiply, you add the power. Three plus what is four? One, where's one? If you don't see anything here, it's not zero. You should know that this is one, right? X to the zero power is for the number itself. We call it constant. It's a zero degree, X to the zero degree, right? X to the zero power, you multiply X, any number to the zero power is one. So you don't need to write down, right? But any number to the zero power is one. Two times two, uh, two times one is two, make sense? So x to the zero degree here. So this is one, this is x to the zero degree. Zero degree, first degree, second degree, right? So two x square minus three x minus two. So two time minus two times negative three is a six, positive six, x cubed times, there's nothing here, it's one, right? So x cubed. If it's exactly the same, you don't need to worry about the variable, just look at the numbers. Now, you have a factor here, negative three x cubed, and another factor in the parentheses, two x squared minus three x minus two. You can, now you have a quadratic equation. You are the expert of the, you know, quadra factoring quadratic equation. You know how to factor this either by using the AC method or Kim's method, right? So let's factor this. You put this into the calculator and the look at the table, that's the Kim's method. What do you get? Look at the zero, right? When y equal to zero, what is x value? Yes, so x equals to two, right? So if you see the x equal to two, you write down x minus two. And then x times what? It is the second fact, how do you get it? X times what is a two X square? It's two X. How about number part? Negative two times what is negative two. That way you get the second one, right? So negative two times one is negative two. So we have three factors, negative three X cubed, X minus two, two X plus one, and we are done, all right? When you find the zeros, what do you do? You set this equal to zero, this equal to zero, this equal to zero, and then you solve for zero. That we are going to do it later. But you already know how to find the zeros also. We are going to repeat one more time later. So three factors, okay? So now, can you find the, identify the mistakes and correct them?
let's do it together. So if you look at this, we have only two terms, but both of them has a commons, but the number part and variable. The number is negative four because it has a negative, negative comes here. And four and 16 numbers are four. How about variable? The lower one, right? So four is the GCF, greatest common factor. And then you put it, the GCF here in the, in the parentheses, when you distribute, you should have these. When you negative four times one is negative four, so one you don't need to write down. The variable x to the fourth power times what is x sixth power? Yeah, x to the square. You add the power, but you should have x square, right? You add the power becomes six. So x is six to x square minus now oh no negative four x to the four times x to the fourth power times what is this variable is the same so you don't need to worry about variable variable x to the fourth power is exactly here but now only number negative four times what is 16 positive negative four right so minus four so now you have two factors but here, look at this, this is a quadrate equation. You should continue. If it is plus four, you cannot factor anymore, but it's minus four, you can factor it. Four is two square, right? X square minus two square. Difference of squares is X minus two, X plus two. You get that? X minus two, X plus two, right? Oh x minus two, x minus two. Oh, it should be, one of them must be x plus two, right? That's wrong. So you change like this. Everybody get it? All right. Look, I will show you one more, two more example here, but this one is very, you know, com uh, familiar, right? Quickly. So just two example. I will show you quickly, but you can do it by yourself and compare with them, all right? So 3x cubed minus 6x squared minus 9x. Number is three is a common, x one power is common. So 3x come out, right? And then 3x times x squared, this one minus 2x, 3x times minus three is negative 9x. Now x squared minus two x minus three, you can factor this one. So if you find the two numbers, negative three and one, or if you find that zero in the table, it will be three and negative one, opposite sign, right? So when you factor it, x minus three, x plus one. You will see that the Kim's method in the table is positive three and negative one, right? And then you change the op opposite sign, right? You change the sign then you are done, all right? How about this one? Negative four. Oh, we did this one already, right? So, you know, in the error analysis. Everybody get it? All right, so you can finish the rest of the questions as the homework and hand in, we'll stop here.